Next contest. It is going to be Michigan traveling to Ohio State. Four o'clock tip-off. The Buckeyes are three and a half at home. Total 137. Money's on the Buckeyes and the over. They open as the three-point favorite, up to minus three and a half. Total open 136 and a half, up to 137. Right now, the Wolverines are plus $1.55 on the money line. Michigan struggles defensively uh, in the rebounding category, uh, really struggling in defensive rebounding. They also lost to Wisconsin, Illinois, and this very Ohio State team within their last 10 games. They're shooting just 68% from the stripe when they travel. They're also just 4-5 and five against the spread as the official road dog. Now, Ohio State on the other side, winners of 7 out of their last 9. They went 7-2 and two against the spread in those 9 games. They were also 14-2 and two straight up at home this year, 12-4 and four against the spread in the Fredley Confines. Ohio State top 15 in shooting the 3 ball at home, top 20 in points allowed. Caleb Wesson, 14 points a game, double-digit rebounds. He's shooting 41% from downtown. Dwayne Washington, 11 points a game, three boards. He's shooting 38% from downtown. We're looking at an Ohio State team who ranks in the top 20 in points allowed at home. They're also in the top 15 in the country in home defensive field goal percentage. They're allowing just 58 points per contest on their home court, 37% from the field in that same category. Now, total-wise, Ohio State 60% to the under in their last 10, 10 and 6 to the under at home. I'm going to lean Buckeyes minus 3.5. And the under 137. Next game, Wichita State, SMU, 4 o'clock tip-off. The Mustangs are the one-and-a-half point favorite at home. Total 138 and a hook. We're seeing money on SMU and the under. The Mustangs open as the one-point favorite, up to minus one-and-a-half. Total open 139, down to 138 and a hook. Wichita State is plus buck fifteen on the money line. Now, the Shockers failed to cover the number in two out of their last three. They're also just 3-6 and six against the spread in their last nine. They're shooting just 37% from the field when they travel. And they're shooting just 25% from downtown away from home as well. Uh, a couple more things to add about the Shockers. They struggle in road defensive rebounding. They're covering just 50% of their games when catching points. And they've dropped four out of their last eight games as the official road team. Now, SMU on the other side, really, really good at home this year. 15-1 straight up as the home team. 10-6 against the spread in those 16 games. They were averaging 77 points per contest. Meanwhile, they're shooting 48.5% from the field. A couple more things to add about SMU. They're 75% against the spread, taking on teams over 650. Really getting the job done against the number, taking on top caliber teams. Kendrick Davis, 15 points a game, 4 rebounds, 7 assists. He's shooting 86% from the stripe. Tyson Jolly, 15 points a game, 6 rebounds. He's shooting 39% from beyond the arc. And Isaiah Mike, 14 points a game, 6 rebounds for SMU. Now 6 out of the Mustangs' last 7 games did get over the number. They're also 11-5 and five to the over on their home court. I'm going to lean SMU minus 1.5 and, and the over 138.5 in that contest. Next matchup, Colorado, Stanford, 6 o'clock, tip-off. Stanford's minus one at home, total 131. We saw a half a point fade of Stanford and movement upward on the total. The Cardinals open one, at, uh, the Cardinal, excuse me, not plural, the Cardinal, just one. The Stanford Cardinal open one and a half down to minus one. Total open 129 and a half up to 131. Colorado's plus 102 on the money line. The Buffaloes are also ranking in the top 10 in road points allowed, top 20 in road defensive field goal percentage. They're allowing just 63 points per contest when they travel. They're also holding their opponents to just 40% from the field in that same category. They're 21-8 and eight overall for the year, 9-1 and one in their last 10 head-to-head -head matchups with Stanford. They've been dominant over the Cardinal if you're into historical trends. Now Stanford on the other side, winners of just 4 out of their last 10. They're shooting 69% from the stripe this year. And they failed to cover the number in eight out of their last 10 versus Colorado. Now, total wise, Stanford 11 and 6 to the under at home. Colorado 4 and 1 to the under in their last five. 7 and 2 to the under as the official road team. I'm going to lean toward a slight underdog in this one. Give me Colorado plus one and the under 131 in that contest. Next and final matchup for the show it is going to be Golden Gophers taking on the Badgers, 6 30 Wisconsin. The Badgers are favored by five and a half, total at 128 and a hook. We are seeing Minnesota money 
We're also seeing movement toward the over in this one. Half a point fade of the Badgers. Movement upward on the total. Wisconsin open six, down to minus five and a half. Total open 128, up to 128 and a hook. Right now, Minnesota's plus 210 on the money line. They've also dropped six out of their last eight games. Just two and six against the spread in those eight. Minnesota averaging just 66 points per contest on the road, shooting just 39% from the field in that same category. And they are 2-8 and eight straight up as the official road team. Now, Wisconsin on the other side, nice little five-game winning streak for them. They also went 7-1 and one against the spread in their last eight. The Badgers rank in the top 25 in the country in points allowed. They're also 13-1 and one straight up at home this year. They're allowing just 61 points per contest in the friendly confines. Now, Wisconsin 5-0 and oh to the over in their last five. Ironically, they're also 80% to the over in their last 10. Must be some market over adjustment uh, with regard to the total. Now, uh, Minnesota on the other side, 2-0 to the over in their last couple of games themselves. 60% to the over in their last five. I'm going to lean Wisconsin minus 5.5 in the over 128.5 in that game. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. But most importantly, guys, i got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. Happy Sunday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later today on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page.